Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the most annoying and hard to get rid of viruses, known as a browser redirect virus. Now, my voice may sound a bit raspy because of the computer software that I'm running but with Cam Studio right over here, but today we're going to show you how to get rid of the browser redirect virus. Now, for instance, if you were to go on Google, your Google toolbar, and type in something like uh, Site Advisor, and then you would click on something, it would take you to a different advertisement site, such as sites that are claiming that you have a virus on your computer, even though that's already happening, and want you to download their vi their softwares, um, taking you to advertisements that give you searches on find site advisors here and whatever and whatnot. So I'm going to be get showing you how to get rid of that now. I have been following this video here, and I do not take credit for this video that I'm making right now, but this guy knows it better than I do, so I'm just going to make it easier. So the first thing you want to do in order to get rid of this virus is to press start, and then go to your control panel. This video is made for Windows Visa users, I mean, yeah, I think with Windows Visa, so that's what you want to do. So yeah. Uh, click on Classic View. Make sure your Control Panel view is on Classic View, not con Control Panel Home. Then, go to Internet Options. Double-click that. And then make sure to change your home page. Now, if your home page was originally like Google or some other website, make sure to delete that website and retype it because your server could be... Um, could be still could still be infected even even if your home page is still like that. And then for connections, click on the land set and land set and settings tab and make sure that your that the check boxes here are the same as mine. If they aren't, change them right now because this can affect this could be causing your browser redirect virus. Make sure everything is just the way it is. Then press OK. I think you're Press OK here. Now, the next thing you want to do is go to the Network and Sharing Center. And then click on Manage Network Connections. And then on the Local Area Connections, right click and go to Properties. Continue. And then the thing you want to do is make sure that your internet protocol versions are checked. Also, click on properties. Okay, no. Click on the one that you want. I think internet protocol version 6 or 7. Make sure that both both of these have the same check marks right here and here as mine. Make sure that these are unchecked as well. Do the same for that if you already have it. And then press OK. And then close. And yeah. So, next out of that. Next out of that. Now, the main thing you want to be doing is to go to the source of the cause. So what you want to do is go to computer, my computer, go to your local disk, go to Windows, uh, System32, go to drivers, go to ETC, etc., and then click on the host file. Now you want to open it using Notepad because this is the main cause of your browser redirect virus. Open it with Notepad and everything here should be the same as mine. Almost. Now, down here is where you'll find the virus. Now for instance, the way I found my virus was it had some like strange numbers like um, something like this. I don't know what the heck that was, but you want to make sure you delete that. Now, the main problem that I've been having is I wouldn't be able to save it as a um, all files document. Because it would say, host already exists, want to replace it? And then say, create cannot create, see Windows System 32 drivers, etc. host files. Make sure the path and file name are correct. Now, this won't work sometimes. So, what you'd want to do... First, you'd want to copy your host file over here to another place on your computer. 
and then you, what you want to do to gain access to this host file is go to this website, Windows Theme 7. It, it will give a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to modify the host file onto your computer if you get if your access is denied to save the file as whatever it is. So, yeah. I'll leave that up to you. If you have any questions on that, please contact me, but we're not going to stop there. Now, another thing you'd want to get in order to get rid of this virus is to download a program called Malwarebytes. This program is a free antivirus software that deletes trojans, rogues, and any worms, and any other s source of virus problems. First, you'd w want to run the program, and it should pop up, and then you'd want to form a full scan or a quick scan, but I prefer full scan because you'd be able to go through it and find all the viruses on your computer. For a quick scan, it'd show you some of the viruses, but not all of them. And then you want to scan. Now, these programs that I have are virus-free, so once you scan that, do as you want. And then you'd want to download a software called TDSS Killer. You can find this on the Kaspersky website, and I will, again, post the link in the description. You want to run that. And this is a rootkit removal. Now, this program has given me the opportunity to remove the main source of my browser redirect virus. Now, when you scan it, after you scan it, you should find something that says, like, root kit, and then you want to cure it. And then you'll have the option to reboot your system. Please reboot your system. That way you can get rid of the virus and stop the redirect virus. And if you run malware by its anti-malware, you'll be able to um, get rid of some other viruses that, I don't know, were lurking on your computer when you've been downloading other softwares. And for mine, no threats have been detected. Now, if there is one detected, you want to cure it, and you'll be given an option. Finally, a program you want to download is CC Cleaner. This program is good for making space on your computer, as well as getting rid of registry errors and unwanted files that you're not familiar with. Now, when you open CC Cleaner, you want to click on the Cleaner tab right here, and then you click you check mark all of these except for wipe free space and save password and ignore the warnings and then you'd analyze and then you'd run cleaner yes then if you want to go to your registry you can scan for issues there so I'm not going to do that and that's basically how you get rid of your browser redirect virus. If you have any questions, please contact me and comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.